first is fishing. Uh, we're certainly seeing an increase in fishing attack. Uh, we're also seeing an increase in whaling attacks where attackers will target specifically executives and high profile individuals in a business. Uh, we can tackle those a couple of different ways. The first is by making sure that there's protection in place on email systems and gateways to capture those attacks, maybe hide the URLs, hide the attachments or delete the email altogether. Uh, but we're also seeing a need for more robust phishing testing where you can make sure that your users are vigilant and educated so that they know what to spot and what to look out for. So secondly, ransomware. Uh, in the case of ransomware, a layered approach is what we find works best. Since ransomware typically attacks the endpoint, then you need to make sure that you've got protection of the endpoint itself, as well as the perimeter in terms of features on next generation firewall. And then typically the vendor's cloud service may well offer a value in terms of real-time analytics and detection to ensure that during an attack and post the attack, you can identify what's happening and what happened afterwards. So finally, IoT. Uh, there's obviously an explosion of devices sitting on the network and everybody's first thought is not that those devices need to be secured, but of course anything with access to the network is potentially a vulnerability if it isn't well protected. So a layered approach again to security here works well, making sure that you think about cyber security first and foremost as you connect devices into your Internet of Things.